Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to incorporate a web font into uh, an HTML document. The first thing we need to do, we need to go ahead and go to google.com web fonts. Once you're there, we need to go ahead and pick up a font that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to go to categories and then turn off everything except handwriting. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That will go ahead and display only the handwriting types of fonts that I want to use. Great buy. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my collection. By doing that, it will go ahead and put it here on the bottom. I'm going to click on review. Reviewing simply means that it will go ahead and show you here if your window on your browser is long, big enough. I'm going to click on use. It will give you the instructions on how to use it. If you scroll down, here you will see add this code to your website and step number four, integrate the fonts into your CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this window hanging out here for a little bit. The next step is to actually open Dreamweaver. Now to open Dreamweaver, I need to go ahead and launch Dreamweaver first. Since it opened the last site that I was working on, I'm going to go ahead and create a new site. So go to site, new site, and on the window that appears, I'm going to go ahead and call it my site three, let's say, just in case I already created one with the same name. I go to the desktop and I am going to go ahead and use the folder that I created on the desktop called test. Okay, so that would actually, once I close this documents, just show me this window. Okay, I'm going to create a brand new HTML document and then I'm going to go ahead and type in a sentence that uses all the letters of the alphabet Okay, now that I've typed in my sentence, now I'm going to go ahead and highlight that sentence and I am going to go ahead and look at the code. If I look at the code, if I click on the code button, I'm going to see here that on the head, right above right above the head it says title, I'm going to hit return to add a space for my line of code from step number t three that we saw at Google Fonts. If I go back, Here's the code that I need to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and copy it. Then I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So this line of code will go ahead and talk to Google IPs for the family of fonts called Gray Vibes. Now, I want to also create, I'm going to click on Design again, a style sheet that I can refer to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the new CSS rule and on the window that appears I'm going to select tag because every time h1 is used I'm going to select h1 from this pull down menu I want it to be that script default so I'm going to go ahead and click OK then since I want it to be a little bit bigger I'm going to select font size 36 and then click OK then I need to go ahead and apply that style sheet to this thing right here right so I'm going to go ahead and highlight what I got and then I'm going to go ahead and go down here to the properties and then click the HTML property and I'm going to format it as heading one. Okay, save what I got. I'm going to go ahead and call this one test inside my test folder. Now let's look at the code again. Now the code has H1, great. It has a place for the Cascade style sheet, great. It has a link to it, but now I need to call back the family here as one of those properties. So I'm going to hit a return right there and then make space for the family of fonts, which I'm going to go ahead and grab again from step number four on the Google fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that property. And then I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver I'm going to paste that in that space that I moved around. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to click on design. And the, the font doesn't show yet until I go live. So if I go ahead and click live view, then I will be able to quickly show that. Now, if you're experiencing some problems here where you're not seeing it, then make sure that on the code you have created a style sheet and that you have also linked that line from step number three in Google Fonts into the header part. Okay, but I know that you're thinking about how do I do this using the template that I borrow? Okay, cool. Let me show you that really quick. Go to site, new site, 
we're going to define the folio site. I'm going to go ahead and click there to navigate to that theme folder that I have here and then choose that and then press the save button. Okay, so what that's going to do again is going to go ahead and set up my site, right? It is on the index.html document where my site looks like this, right? I want to go ahead and change this font, let's say. In order to find out what is affecting that specific font, what style sheet is affecting that, you will note that up here it says style, style CSS. If I click style CSS, I will note a couple of things here. When you click on about, it says heading two. So I'm looking for heading two on the style sheet, which is here. I'm looking for the definition of H2. Here it is. I found it right there. It doesn't have a font family. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and insert the font family there once I choose it in the web fonts in Google. And I also need to go ahead and put it inside the source code. The source code is the code for this particular document. So this is the style. And this is the source code. The style is this cascading style sheet. And the source code is the HTML document. On the HTML document, you'll note that right here I already have some links to different style sheets. I'm going to make room for one more. Okay, So this is the setup in Dreamweaver. I'm going to go back to Google. And then I want for Google, I want to use the same font, let's say, okay, just to save some time. Obviously, you would pick a different font. I need to bring this link right here copy it I need to bring that into Dreamweaver so I go back to Dreamweaver I'm looking at this source code I'm looking at the space I created and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that so now it has a link to Google to Google's APIS okay that's where the fonts are gonna be hanging out then I click on the style and I know that I need to modify here add a family to H2 so then what I do I go back to Google and then this is the family right on step four right click and copy again come back to Dreamweaver and on the style sheet right not on the source code but on the style sheet now I'm looking at it I'm gonna go ahead and paste that family I'm gonna add even a space there so that it's not too closer together so now I need to save the index.html uh, file as well as the style.css. So to do that, I'll go to File, Save All, and that will save them both. Now, to preview this, I'm going to go to File, Preview in Browser. I'm going to select Firefox, and now my website has this curly text, right? Instead of the other text that was, not, that was blocky before. Right, so if I look over here, it's still showing some either a different text, right? So if I go to Live View, then I perhaps would be able to see my curly text. That's how you incorporate it in a present template. So if you want to change the fonts that you're using on the template that you borrow, you can do so just like how I've shown you. Good luck.